In this shorty, we're going to take a quick look at this curtain wall. Here's the base of the wall sitting on a concrete notched edge. This is a cap or aluminum trim that runs along the length of the bottom edge of that wall. The wall is insulated with cellulose insulation and it's built out of metal studs, heavyweight metal studs as we'll see in a minute. The outside of those studs take an insulated panel and then drywall. The outside curtain wall panel has a layer of 5 8 exterior sheathing, a weather barrier, and then a metal panel. So the wall in 3D looks about like this. Here's that. This is the metal trim. Two pieces hooked onto the bottom of the curtain wall. Curtain wall sits on a little curb curb is integral with the wall itself or can be field built and these are the metal studs associated with that. This is framed around a six inch steel channel because of the lifting. There's the metal studs. This is where the cellulose insulation would go. And here's a window, fixed window or fixed glass that would fit its own frame into the wall. The top of the curtain wall attaches to the edge or the front edge of the composite deck or the concrete deck. These are the same hooks we looked at earlier on the slab edge with the reinforcing. The reinforcing or these angle brackets then attach the curtain wall to the beam structure. This is a solid blocking that comes across here. If they ran cellulose insulation through here, this would become a fire hazard. So this blocking is fire blocking that prevent that from occurring. Notice that these are clipped on. It's a sliding clip. It's also adjusted to plumb. So that gets you an idea of how that curtain wall is constructed and hung both sitting on the concrete and attached to the concrete slab on each floor.